What's going on guys? We're here with Tasha, spiritual mama. Tasha or Tasha? And children. <laughs> and love. And love. And soul, I'm just saying. <laughs> Screaming in the background, so if you hear that, just... Yeah. It's okay. She's got little loves running around. <laughs> so in this video, we want to talk about uh, a couple things that we've each learned about the law of attraction and things that you might find helpful. Yes. So first of all, what is the law of attraction? What is law? Everything. Law of attraction is everything. In my opinion. Everything in your life right now you've attracted. Period. Everything you see around you, everything you're hearing right now, everything you've ever tasted, touched, felt, heard, thought about, you've attracted. I feel like it's also like you've created it. Mom, yeah. Get, and that's even more Oh no, there's a baby in the background. Please don't report this video. Thanks. Can you go really, let, let us finish this and then we'll talk, okay? Okay, thank you. So, yeah, you've created, you, we're the creator of our own realities. Your mind constructs your reality, absolutely. Um, I've created Tasha right beside me. And I've created... Several babies. <laughs> that, that oh. too. Don't even get their butts. I've created this raw vegan t-shirt. Oh, did you really? Yeah. Cool. Look at the back, what's on the back. Yeah, I saw that. I'm sorry. I created this baby. So I feel like we're always like, there was some, when we're coming up with what to talk about. Where did you put my stick? I didn't touch it, man, you hit it. No. Go find your stick. We'll be back in five minutes. Okay, well, when, <clears throat> I feel like um, when we're talking about what to come up with, there's a couple of topics like, to choose from, and how the law of attraction, whatever you want to call it, is always working, and it's like you're always believing in something. I see it! Wow, it's so big. You're always, <laughs> you're always believing in something, so you might as well believe. In, <laughs> start believing in what you want to believe in. And for that, whenever I talk to my clients or people that I talk to with insomnia and such, it's like, okay, so you believe that you can't sleep or you can't do this. Is that belief serving you any longer? And they say, well, it's true, it's happening. Okay, but is it serving you? Do you still want it to keep happening? And the answer usually is no. Okay, if you no longer want it to happen, then you have to start choosing to tell a different story and choose to believe a different belief. And all a belief is is the same thought, thought over and over and over again. And that, that solidifies it as a belief. A belief is something you've thought a lot. Yeah. A belief is a thought you've thought a lot. Or a thought that you've just instantly accepted. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, we can change beliefs just by repeating a new belief, or belief, repeating a new thought over and over and over again and getting emotionally involved with that belief. Yeah, and it's the emotion behind right. the word structure. It's, it's basically the emotion, emotion. Yeah. Energy and motion. Yeah, you can't just go through the motions with affirmations without the emotion behind it and that was one of the things I've recently learned about love attraction or I guess within the past you know three four years I've really driven home is that if you want to really start utilizing law of attraction you have to have some emotion in your affirmations in your mind not movies. some it's all emotion it's all emotion yeah all emotion. you've got you've got to you've got to you have to really feel it yeah you've got to really feel it absolutely so feel what you want to feel what you want that belief to represent Feeling is the secret, absolutely. Um, Ooh, that could just sum it up right there. Feeling is the secret. Feeling is the secret. And, and, the, and the most powerful feeling for getting what you want is feeling grateful for already having it. Mm -hmm. Even if you can't physically see it around you right now, just be grateful that you've already got it. You know, just because you can't see it doesn't mean you don't have it. Ooh, about that. Bentio Masaro, he says, put what you want in your future and your past. So put it yeah, in your past, cool. so feel it as if you've already, no, I like that. already had it. I like that you've a lot. You've already experienced it. I like that a lot. Yeah. Definitely. Um, 
What, what's something else you've learned about Law of Attraction? I forgot what the other one was. Well, you've learned a whole bunch of things. We can pick one thing though. Well, I never label it as Law of Attraction, so it's like, I have to actually think, wait, Law of Attraction? I feel like it's everything in my life. I'm very aware and very conscious of the thoughts that I think. Not recognizing the, the negatives. Well, recognizing them, but just not, not necessarily allowing them to control my emotions anymore. Like right. seeing them, oh, this thought's coming up and this, is, this feeling's coming up, okay? Feeling it and then like, well, what do I actually want to think? Do I want to think that this and this is this and this? Or do I want to think that it's that? That it's beautiful, that it's that my life is amazing, that it's easy to manifest, that it's easy to come across money, that I'm abundant, that I can have whatever I want, that I do deserve anything that I want, that I am lovable, that I am um, just the list goes on. <laughs> yeah, what, I, what, what I meant by that is in not recognizing in that is that like the law of attraction is inclusive. It's all inclusive. So if you say like I don't want X, Y, or Z. Law of attraction is going to give you more of X, Y, and Z because you're saying I don't want, but it doesn't recognize the don't want the, because the first two letters of the first two, the first word well, the of first don't. The first two words is I. The first word of don't is do. I do. Your brain hears I do. I do want. So every time you're saying I don't want, I don't want to have to go to the da da da. You're actually saying I do want to have Correct. to go to da da da. So, so say what you want. So the is just responding to you and that feeling of no. Nah, 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 nah. You yeah. get more of no 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 because that's what you're focusing on. But if you say you know what, if you say in your head like I don't want to do that. Actually, you know what? I want I want to. Mm -hmm. I want to have a great day. I right. want to meet amazing. I want to be on time. I want to be on time. I want this party to be fun. I want this parking spot. I want front row parking spot every single time. <laughs> yeah, so we were driving over here to Coconut Island and uh, the car parking lot was full, man. Like legit full. I mean, in my eyes it was full. And to everyone else that was driving in and driving out of the parking lot like right away was like, oh yeah, it's full as well. We drive in there, Tash is like, I always get front row parking. And I was like, well, let's put this thing to the test. Let's put Tash's power to the test. And then like, there's like this empty spot that like no one else could have seen, like right in the corner. She just pulled right in there, got it. Front row parking spot. We can literally see her car from right here. If I take this camera right now and like zoom in, you can see her car like right under the bridge right there. Front row spots. The parking lot goes on and on and on back there. We got front row spots because her attitude was that of, I've already got Speaking this Speaking it into existence, yeah. yeah. And you actually believe, like, you always get the best parking spot. Yeah, and I it. and it's not necessarily that I believe it because I saw the parking spot. You couldn't see I, it. it no. full. <laughs> I believe it because I believe that I speak into existence. I've witnessed everything in my life, like, going on my past once I came upon this epiphany, I guess you would say. I would look back at everything like, oh my gosh, I did do that. Oh my gosh, I did think that before right. it happened. Oh my gosh, I was worried about that and created it. Oh my goodness, like, <gasps> I am doing all of this. Now I can have fun with it. For <laughs> sure, for sure. And that that's the last, that's the next point I want to make here is that you can have fun with it by getting crystal clear on your vision. On what you want. Yeah, on your vision of what you want. Create your ideal life. And you can do this either on paper, or cut out little magazine clippings, or go on Google Images and just type in keywords that you want and save the pictures and just get crystal clear on what you want. Sorry, I gotta bring the camera down. There's a little naked baby back there. Um, I'm but, like freaking out. Ah, I see him. He's around in your corner. Ah. Last time we uploaded a video, you guys one flagged it. So and he got taken down. So. Story of my life. Anyways, we'll just finish the video like this. <laughs> You can see, you, you can get just some see good Rob Vegan right. and Raw Baby. Um, <laughs> feeding. Um, yeah, so get, get crystal clear in your vision. The clearer you are in the vision, the faster it's going to come to you. It's kind of like driving a car in the rain. If you can't see out of your uh, your front windshield because it's covered in rain, it's going to be hard to get to where you want to get to. What's your vision? But as soon as you start using the windshield wipers, you can start getting clear, clear vision of the road ahead of you and uh, seeing where you're going. It'll be much easier to, uh, to drive there. Windshield wipers is a metaphor for getting all the shit out of your life. <laughs> yeah, getting all the baggage, all the stuff holding you back, material, right. addicting food, addicting food or food that doesn't make you feel great. Yeah, wipe it all away. Relationships. Um, 
that are toxic. But the other thing about driving and the law of attraction that are very similar is that you never really know what's around the corner unless you've done that same road before. Um, but even then, you don't know what's around the corner. It could be a deer, it could be someone standing in the middle of the road. You don't know what's around the corner, but you go there anyway. So same with your life. You may not know what's around the corner, but you know... Hold on. But you know where you're headed, or at least you know where you want to head, and uh, you just head in that general direction. Well, how do you, well, what is that with, for people that do have no idea where they want to head, what would you, wouldn't you say that that's like finding what your passion is? So if people don't know what they want, then you ask them, okay, what don't you want? And as soon as they tell you what they don't want, you flip it to the opposite. Mm. So if they say, oh, I don't know what I want, you say, okay, what don't you want? And they say, oh, I don't want to be broke and I don't want to be alone. So you want to be abundant. So then you want to have, you want to have abundance of wealth, of, of money, maybe you want to have a great partner, or partners, um, a family. So if you don't know what you want, you at least know what you don't want. As soon as you say what you don't want, you flip it and focus on what you do want. All that right. Makes sense. Sounds That's good. Nice way to Mom, find it. Can, we, can you help me make a swing out of it? The, those two things with this. This will be the seat. Oh, and then the that's thing. a great idea. <laughs> That'll be the seat. Yeah. So creative. Can we do one, Mom? Can you help me? Yeah, let's check it out. I love you. We'll start in a couple minutes. How about that? Hey. All right. Well, let's wrap it up here. Yep. Can I watch? Um, Mom? I think that wraps it up. Alright, that'll wrap it up. Find your passion. Find what makes you happy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> queen and queen. Today, he, today he's like, Mommy, you look like a queen. He's like, mm. oh, thanks. You're, Just, you look like a king. And he's like, no. <laughs> no. Okay, you keep dropping out in the baby's face. Okay, see you later.